What's cracking, Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Right today, people, we are talking lunge jumps now. I've had a ton of people request this tutorial. I put up a few videos in the last week just showing the move, but today I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail and actually take the raw footage from my recent vlog. Now, I felt like I needed to make this a separate tutorial because this drill that I'm about to show you is really key and important to making sure that you guys can nail the lunge jump correctly. So make sure you take it all in. It's very raw. It's coming off the back of um, one of my recent vlogs. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and learn a lot from it. So um, guys, as always, man, thank you so much for your support. Keep flying boss out there. If you guys need any gear, any merch, you know where to find it, man. The link's in the description below. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys to this fire tutorial. Enjoy. So this is the move, right? It's basically one-handed side swings with a lunge. And what, what I wanna kind of quickly share with you is when you're doing this, the reason why I get beginners anyway to try this when I used to teach is they get mixed up when they're trying to kind of go side swings and then open and do the lunge at the same time. So just practice with just not going or jumping over the rope at this moment in time, right? Just practice doing your lunges, you know, even without the rope first. And it's, it's like a move that everyone's seen, right? Like when they go to a gym or something. But the key point is you really want to engage this core and you really want to kind of stay as upright as you can, like have a little bit of tilt, but don't kind of hunch over too badly, right? You want to keep that core braced, keep those back muscles kind of retracted so you have really nice, good posture. And when you're doing this, you just want to focus on that breathing. So it's breathing deeply in and just nice and easy out. Okay, so it's nice and controlled. <sighs> Turning your wrist over like this is really important. You want to get your index finger in between the rope like this. You don't want to do this move like here because it's going to be kind of hard to kind of open the rope out. It's going to most likely be tangled as well when you do that. So you want to kind of have the index finger inside the rope within the handles. You want to clasp it and then you just want to feel like it's just turning this wrist over as you go from one side to the other. That's going to help the rope stay tangle free. And obviously if you've got a very good rope with good vinyl and good PVC and you're using something like the money rope, it's going to work a treat, okay? Count for this move, which kind of works quite nice. It's just like a nice one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep that in your mind. That will really help as well. So it kind of look like this. One, two, three, 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 one, two. And so on. And your legs should follow the movement. And then when you're ready, you're going to kind of grab this rope, open it, and just continue the legs. The legs still will stay at the same speed. The key is now, can you get this to open in one motion without the rope being tangled, tripping, etc., etc. right? So that's why it's so key how you turn the wrist over to keep the rope separated and how you use your kind of knuckles and fingers or the index finger technique that I showed you. So this is what it's gonna look like now. So practice here, time to open the rope, just like that. All right? Try and give it a go. It's a really good way to learn lunge jumps in general. I feel like if you can already do the body weight movement, right, you've already done most of the hard work, then it's just piecing it together with your hands and then trying to get it open. If you don't get it first time, just try and take it slowly. Try and make that opening as wide as possible. It might not look super slick at first, but at least you get the rope open. So it's just like, maybe you wanna try this, big open, right? Just so you make sure you get that rope underneath your legs. And then when you get slicker, you can just do a nice tight open and get straight into it. If you're struggling with the kind of open of the rope or the opening of the rope, just take your lunge jumps a little bit easier. Right? Maintain the posture, maintain the balance, but just don't feel like you need to go too low, right? It's really important that when you do your lunges, you wanna get the right effects and the right burns and stuff like that. Obviously, going lower is gonna help a, a whole ton, but just for now, you can just do the kind of like little mini ones, right? Just kind of like, just small sharp ones like this. So it's almost just like a, almost just like a kind of front straddle. You're not going kind of too crazy, too low, you're not like kind of pushing those knees way too far out in front of you. 
just so that you maintain just comfort. Find out where your level is, all right? You don't want to have any injuries or anything like that. Try not to kind of have your knees buckle in. You don't want your knees kind of falling in. It's not really good technique. Just if anything, try and maintain that knee pushing a little bit out straight if you can, but like it's gonna not be good for you. When I used to do my kind of rehab for my hip, uh, one of the main exercises that my physio used to get me to do was obviously like a forward lunge to help my hip as well, get some range of motion. But like the problem that I used to have was I was so weak, like my glutes and everything didn't have any strength because I wasn't walking for so long. My knee used to kind of fall inwards. And um, he used to always say to me like, don't want to be doing that.